Hello, it's Melinda from Scrapbooking and Craft. Just coming on today to do a bit of a haul. It's a bit of a different haul. I actually went to a second-hand bookstore. Over Easter for four days, our local Rotary Club gathers books all year and then sells them off over the four days of Easter. So my daughter and I went in on Friday, Good Friday, because we had not much else to do. So I found some more National Geographic magazines. So these are all 50 cents. Um, these are a lot later. Well, that's an 88. Um, 2004, most of them are, 2005. Um, so I grabbed 10 of those at 50 cents each. I spent about, this whole lot of books cost me $26, which I didn't think was that bad. You could have had a whole box of these for $5, but I was very limited in what I could bring home because my daughter and I were, um, basically took a trolley case and I call them an old granny cart with us because I don't drive so we had to catch the bus into town. If I convince my daughter to go back Monday I might go back and get some more National Geographic um, ones. Excuse the spider here, this is the one my daughter picked. Hmm. So the Australian Geographic were a dollar each or again you could get a box for ten dollars but we just couldn't bring a box home with what my daughter and I picked. So they've got some cute images and I love the owl. I picked it for the owl. I had a flip through and if I liked four or five or six of the images, I grabbed it. My daughter liked the spider. Even though I threw it back at her in the shop and said I'm not buying a book with a spider in it, it still managed to come home. Then I found some magazines I hadn't had before. So these type of magazines were the best value there. They were five for a dollar. Um, so these ones are Vanity Fair. So they had some awesome, awesome images in them from my collection journal and our... Um, actually, I love this. This is just beautiful. Where'd it go? This. I can just imagine cutting out and using that um, on a page somewhere. So, to date, my daughter and I have only had fashion magazines to cut from um, and the National Geographic ones we got last time. So, I was looking for different magazines. I had a lot of crafty ones, like really old scrapbooking ones and quilting ones and that that didn't like me. I was looking or hoping to find some... Frankie, which I didn't, or some of that type magazine, but there wasn't much there. So these are again the five for a dollar, so my daughter picked up a Better Homes and Gardens, which actually has some really good images in it. Um, I was flipping through it before, um, so my daughter and I'll use that one to cut up different things. Had some cool projects in it too at the front. Um, and then I picked up these two bridal magazines. Look how thick this one is. This one's about, this would be two centimetres thick. Um, and I love all the images in it. Had a lot of um, jewellery and different things in it. Wedding, different ones. Um, I love this horse. I sort of love this. This is just gorgeous. Um, as they were five for a dollar, I sort of picked up the two biggest, thickest wedding magazines. Look at this one. This one is an inch thick. So this one I was actually flipping through, and I'll show you if I can find my quickly find my favourite pages. I flipped through and then I had to have this. Again, I would have grabbed more magazines, but the magazines were sort of at the end and we'd already built, bought these. Look. Oh, we're getting glare. Oh, let's get rid of the glare. Let's pop this up on a bit of an angle. Look at these. Aren't these just stunning? I don't even know. Let's go to the start of them. These caught my eye in this magazine. I thought I'd just have to have it and for 20 cents. I couldn't leave it there. They are just amazing. I love the colours. I love the jewellery. I love the texture. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm definitely going to have to scan them before I do anything with them. Um, but that one just had awesome, awesome stuff in it. And being an inch thick. Um, I'll just leave that there to pop them up. So I've got another book to cut up. This one's wild and free. They had quite a few of these ones, so they must have been donated. They're done by the Weekly Times, which is a newspaper. So it must have been a um, promotion or something. But these had beautiful bird images in it that I thought my daughter and I can either cut out for our collection journal, whatever that is, um, or we could also use some of these in our art journaling. Love the bat. So I've got that one to cut up as well. Frog, owl, um, emus. <laughs> Oh, I love the seal, sea line. So I got that one as well. It's quite a big book. And I love the owl on the front cover too. The next couple I got were, this one is the Reader's Jest Great in Dictionary, uh, Encyclopedia Dictionary. We're actually looking in the dictionary section. Just notice that one's got a wicked embossed cover on it. This one I actually bought to cut up 
the pages and the pages are already falling out. But I loved all these sort of drawings throughout the book. I do have another one of these somewhere, but I haven't found it since I moved house. Um, so I liked a lot of the, the drawings and stuff in it. My daughter wanted an actual, a lot of houses. My daughter wanted an actual dictionary dictionary, so we're looking in that in that section. And I found this one, which was really cool. So I love all the, just the, oh, I love the fish. The fi oh, the skulls are cool, and the monkeys. So I liked that one to cut up. And again, you can see it's quite thick. It'd be over two inches thick. And I've just noticed I love all this embossing on the cover. Might have to deconstruct that one and turn that one into an art journal. We'll see. This one, Garner's Art Through the Art, Gardeners, Art Through the Ages, six, sixth edition. So this is again was a very big one. I've got Teddy prices of these ones. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. But these ones are only two dollars. Um, the Wild and Free, the Encyclopedia I showed you, and this one. These are all two dollars. Um, so I thought this would be cool to read. <laughs> and get inspiration from. So it's got all sorts of art. It's got beautiful coloured pictures, which I thought we could incorporate into our art journals, my daughter and I, or collection journals. Um, or we could look at a piece and then get inspiration from it. Um, if I'm having one of those days where I need some inspiration. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna, whoops, not sure whether I'm gonna actually cut this one up or leave it for a little while. But, but this one is just gorgeous. So something like this in our local op shops or local thrift stores has about $10 on it, which is absolutely ridiculous um, in some of the thrift stores. Some of them are only 2 or $3, um, but I'm hoping I can convince my daughter to go back on Monday to the bookstore. It's just we have to catch the bus in and it's probably about a 15 minute walk from where the bus drops us off to the bookstore, um, which is a long way for a little girl with legs. Um, so this one I actually bought for uh, to make into an art journal because I loved the the thickness of the pages and they're not glossy. So the older style books have the sort of matte pages, even though it's got photos in it of the lions, which I thought I could incorporate as well. This more is it's a sewn book. Um, the cover's pretty nice. Um, it's got a bit of wear and tear on it, but I thought this would make a nice art journal. It's a nice size. I'm really enjoying working in my novel at the moment, but being nearly two inches thick in the spine, the spine is just disintegrating. Um, I'm now having to start to work in the back of the book, but I thought this one being only small um, would be a good size to work in. So I'll either cut these pictures up, photographs of the lions, or I might just gesso over them, we'll see what I do. So that one I bought to alter. This one I actually like the look of as well to alter. Um, it's a more of a newer book. But again, it had thicker pages and it had the non-shiny paper. This one also had cool images in it, so I may even just cut things out of this one. Again, these were $2, so for $2 um, you don't find books like that. I did see a beautiful one of birds in my local charity shop and they wanted four dollars for it and to cut it up I'd get a lot of images out of it but to pay four dollars to chop up a book I'm not not sort of there yet um, so for two dollars I don't mind so this one will either be and it has its own ribbon too which is rather cool built in so this one will either be turned into an art journal or um, be used as cut up ephemera as well Next one, I've got the kids' books with the best value there. They're only 50 cents. So this one's Hank Christian Anderson's Favourite Fairy Tales. So again, I picked this one up for the type of book it is. It's a sewn-in book with signatures. And I picked it up for the type of paper. So it's nice, thick paper, and it's non-glossy. And I also love the images in this one too. Like, this is just gorgeous. So I thought I could either incorporate this in my art journal... As, image, as pictures, if I want to add pictures or things, or cut it up. Um, this one's a bit beautiful. Sometimes I buy them and think I'm going to cut them up and then I don't. But being only this thick, I thought it would make a nice art journal. It's only about two centimetres thick, um, as opposed to two inches of my other one. Got a couple more, last couple of books. Um, this one's a children's dictionary. Again, I bought it with the intention of using it as an art journal because it is this thicker paper and it's non-glossy but 
flipping through it, this one was only 50 cents as well. Um, it is just got lots of cool images and things in it. So this one might be destined to cut up as well. I will have to wait and see what I do. If I'm altering these as an art journal, I usually tear out half the pages anyway. So I could probably use it as both. Um, and this one had a nice cover on it. And then I liked this as well. So this one I picked up, um, this was a road atlas. Again, I liked the the quality of the paper, quite nice thick paper. Um, I'm thinking this one's going to be too thick for an actual art journal because it is three centimetres, a bit over three centimetres thick in the spine. It's about the same thickness as my current one I'm working in, um, but I did look like this one for all the maps. Um, and this is like a road atlas of Australia, so it had some awesome images in it as well. Um, I was more looking at the the um, the books for art purposes. I won't be reading any of these because um, some of the books were quite old. Um, this one again was only two dollars, so I'll get obviously. Oh, look at the koala! Isn't it beautiful? Oh, and the giraffe. That's Sydney Zoo, Taronga Zoo, Sydney Zoo. So my daughter could, or I cut the giraffe out and the koala and different things. Um, so it was only $2. And then my favourite find, my favourite find, I had to wait till my daughter goes to bed to do this video. But my favourite find, ready for it? Was this book. This one I just saw at a glance and thought, what is that? It was on the table that said um, special or rare books. And it was only marked $2. Now the special or rare ones on that table, other things were marked 5 and $10. Um, and I sort of picked this up and go, oh, it's a flat, flat soccer ball. It's in pretty ball condition. Um, it's got a lot of pilling on the leather and stuff, but it's actually a FIFA World Cup book program from, it does have a date in here somewhere, from 2016. So look, it's actually got round pages and a round cover. Now, I wish they would have had a couple more. I would have grabbed them all. Isn't this awesome? This is going to make a fantastic art journal. It's sewn in with signatures. So I'm going to look at pulling half of these pages out. And I'm going to decorate the cover. And this actually gave me an idea. Um, Mike Deacon has actually made a circle journal. A cir um, as in a circle journal. Uh, in the shape of a circle. He cut his from cardboard and has bound his with rings. But when I saw this, I thought, oh, what a fantastic, fantastic journal. I actually Googled when I got home and thought, oh, I would love another one just to put away. And I thought if they're reasonably priced, probably up to $20, I'd buy one and just put it aside. They do make them, but they were $50. Um, it's obviously, this one's obviously secondhand, but the newer ones I saw on... An American site were $50 American and then postage but I'm very very excited so I will share with you when I work in this book I'm going to do something with the cover I'll have to find out if I can just gesso over the cover because it's like fake leather um, I don't think it's actual leather but it's like that fake leather it feels actually like a soccer ball and it's all puffy you can see it it's puffy on the covers um, so it is a bit damaged on the side but I thought I could tape tape over that bit of pipe peeling on the side and that's the back it's the soccer ball as well and this is well and truly trashed it's the spine but I'll paint over that and do a little bit of repairs but the, the foundations of the book is there and the pages inside even though they're glossy they will paint over perfectly so I'm thinking it's got nearly it's got 192 pages so if I take out every second page, it'll be 100 pages, and then I glue two together, which I usually do, it'll give me about 50 pages to work on. That'll be a massive book, 50, 50 journal pages, which will be awesome. But I just wanted to share that with you, my circle book. So actually from the FIFA World Cup in Germany. So someone obviously bought it over there and decided not to have it anymore. 
think it was 1996. So I will definitely film this one when I play with it. 2006, I'm sorry, it was from. So someone has obviously bought it um, for the FIFA World Cup and then decided not to do it. But it was a chance that I just walked past that particular shelf. I think it was meant to be. And picked it up and go, oh, what's that? Thought it was someone squash soccer ball. But I'm so excited with the books I got. Um, I will chat it enough about my book. I can't stop feeling it. Because it's actually got sewn. Um, the stitching on the ball is actually stitched. It's real stitching. So I'm very, very excited um, about this. And I will show you what I do with it when I do something with it. Oh, I made you all jealous now. I'm sorry. Make you jealous with my book. Um, but I will leave it there for now and I'll catch up with you again later. Bye. Have a happy Easter. If I don't talk to you between now and Easter, have a very happy Easter. And safe travels if you're travelling over the holiday season. And we'll catch up with you again. Bye for now.